Welcome. In front of me is a Realme Pad and today I will show you how you can record the screen on this tablet. So to get started you will need to add the screen recording toggle to your notifications. So let's pull that down. And you want to select right here this little pencil icon. And somewhere a little bit lower. Oh, there we go. You should see screen recorder. Once you find it, simply grab it, which as you can see when you start holding it right here, this text will change to drag here to remove. We're going to drag it over to the top, drop it, go back, and you should be able to access it from here. So now that it's accessible in our notification panel, we can hold it. Or usually we will be able to. Okay, so it looks like we don't actually get the settings right here. So once you tap on it, it just gives you two different options. We have what we can record in terms of audio. So we will have things like device audio, microphone, or both. And obviously if you don't want to record any audio, you just make sure that this is toggled off. Now, when it comes down to recording both audio and uh, microphone, to use headphones with this because it will probably create a unwanted echo effect with uh, with the microphone picking up the sound of the device, assuming you're not muting the device, so keeping it completely quiet. Because even if you can't hear it, uh, the device will still record internal audio. So anyway, I'm gonna just keep it at whatever it is, uh, which is actually toggled off. Then we also have another option, which is show touch touches on screen. And when enabled and you start recording, it will just start showing a, there we go. This, as you can see, the circle that is following my my finger. This is basically an indication on the recording, which is, well, recorded literally, uh, where I was pressing the screen. So right now, whatever app you open, everything will be recorded. So we can also use this as an example. This is a nice recording. Oh, I actually need to press right there. So, <laughs> nice. Anyway, uh, once you're done with the recording, we can now just pull down our notification panel and simply tap on this red thing uh, to stop recording, as you can see. Once you stop the recording, it is automatically saved to your Photos application. Give it a second, and there we go, it just appeared right here. And tap on it to view it. Now it actually looks like it's recording it in a 60 frames, so that's nice. And it looks fairly sharp, so it looks like it's also at least like 1080p. So the video recording here looks to be fairly decent by default, so props for that, even though there is no settings for it. So there we go. That is basically how you would record a screen on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.